Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Friday, the 26th. Is it the 26th? <laughs> 25th or 26th of June. Uh, yeah, we're using Wheel of the Year Tarot for our message today. And we have two cards off the bottom of the deck. This is the energy charging our atmosphere at this time. Our first card is Ten of Cups. I love seeing this again. You know, it's not the first time we've seen it this week. And I believe it was Monday. Monday we had it in combination with the Ace of Cups, which is fantastic because when you turn over, when you turn over 10 in tarot, you're going to reset to Ace because 10 is fulfillment. You've reached a pinnacle in a way within the suit so you've reached fulfillment satisfaction with something and you're going to move on to the next phase you're taking all of the benefit the blessing of this 10 and moving on to a whole new experience with it so you know that the ten of cups is one of the happiest cards in tarot you know our our first our best is the sun then we have the four of wands we also have this beautiful ten of ten of cups ten of pentacles is not too shabby either and we saw that in yesterday's reading so this is the kind of energy atmosphere we have on offer to us which is good because yesterday's reading was a little bit more challenging for us uh, there were some chaotic or potentially chaotic potentially confusing energies to navigate through and uh, so seeing the 10 today in this position is such a blessing so coming with it is <laughs> oh my gosh well we have it in repeat from the beginning of the week to the end of the week there's the ace of cups I have goosebumps Oh my gosh. All right. Well, there it is. The 10 resets to ace. So that's the 10 of cups, meaning that's the ace of cups to the power of 10, 10 times over. And the ace of cups is all about a divine and cosmic gift of overflow flowing into your life. And it's not just any kind of overflow. It's pure love, bliss, raw joy, happiness. And we are standing underneath that waterfall and we're making something really grand of it. I feel when I look at this, I'm still stunned that this has happened. <laughs> Have I told you how much I love tarot? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I feel as I look at this, uh, true, true reward for us. You know, this is a cosmic pat on the back saying job well done. You know, it feels as if the universe is saying, we know what it takes to stand in this kind of energy, to have that kind of flow on your foundation. And here it is in repetition this week even. Fantastic, right? So celebrate this because you are at the core of this. This is your heart space speaking to, with the divine cosmic all that is, and it's the divine cosmic all that is talking back. Yeah, let's see where it's going. Well, another cup. We have the six. Ah, oh, the soulmate card. This is a card of reminiscing, nostalgia, reflection, taking a look back at things. And it is a minor suit of tarot connection for me to the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the divine delivery system within our feeling realm on this card. And I love that it, it follows this ten and this ace because this is what we're channeling into our world at this time. So we're deeply connected to our inner emotional landscape and this being the nickname of this card being the soulmate card, it indicates some type of return. Uh, someone returns from our past or we recall someone, we have hindsight reflection, we are visited by a lovely memory and we are reminded that we are our own best soulmate yes and it's that kind of interconnection in the divine masculine the divine feminine within self relationship that makes this ten and this ace happen so what these cards are saying to us is that this is our broadcast that's the caliber of energy ten and ace that we are broadcasting within our sphere of influence 
And because of that kind of frequency, vibration, if you will, then we attract more of the same. So it comes to us multiplied, which is likely why we're seeing this message in repetition this week. And it's reward of our energetic investment, which is something that we have been talking about for weeks. I've been mentioning it almost every day for weeks. So here you are witnessing some of your own energetic, soulful, heart space, energy investment into just the kind of frequency in which you wish, you wish to celebrate your life from. Now, if you have to do some reminiscing, take a walk down memory lane to recall where you were, where you now are, that sort of thing, do it, check in and really honor the journey because the journey has led you here. Coming next, the world. <laughs> well, there's the message. The re It's reward of prior effort. You know, here we are with the world now, and this is the last card in the major arcana, so yet another fulfillment. You have fulfillment, satisfaction here in the Ten of Cups. You have fulfillment, satisfaction, reward of prior effort here in the world. And now this will reset to the fool. <laughs> If we turn over the fool next, I'm just going to stop the reading because I need not say any more, right? <laughs> so here again, greater confirmation for you. You know, while you reminisce, while you take a look back and enjoy some of your hindsight and your hind fright, and you take stock of it all, you can see the reward of everything you've put into it and the world then confirms it for you. So here we are. We are at a point of taking our vast experience and moving it on to an even greater level of happiness, bliss, reward, satisfaction, and fulfillment. And I know that some of you are going to say, I don't feel these things at this time, in this present moment. It's okay. There's a wave to all of this. And the cards come in repetition for a purpose because not everybody is riding that same wave. Not everybody is having that same experience. And how boring would it be if we were, right? So these cards are as much confirmation as they are encouragement. Let's see what comes next. Two, two of them. Our first is the moon. Something unknown becomes known. Yet another major arcana here on the table. Two of them now. <laughs> I love the moon. It's heightened intuition. When we see this card, we know that one, alchemy is afoot. Change is happening. Things are shifting, changing. You know, the moon is borrowed light of the sun and it creates a perspective that we can't normally see in the bright light, the brilliant clarity of the sun. Sometimes the sun actually obscures our vision in its brightness and that's when we are blessed with the gift of the moon and then heightened intuitive awareness because the moon casts an altogether different light there's contrast there's shadow which provides perspective and we see things in a new way and isn't that wonderful because that's what we're bringing our experience to as we are about to begin a whole new phase of experience on a foundation of ace of cups ten of cups and so on hmm coming with is the four of pentacles okay well the moon is going to help us see where we may be hanging on to something that's really ready to let go now recall last well maybe it was earlier this week if not it was definitely in the readings last week that we had death and high priestess together and those two combined help us to see into the periphery high priestess to take a look at, have a glance at, <laughs> have a gander, as my grandmother might say, <laughs> at what no longer serves us, what is no longer purposeful and of service to us, for us. So we have to let those things go, but sometimes they're comfortable. We saw the devil with that message just the other day. Sometimes what is familiar and comfortable we stick with for longer than we really, uh, that's really of benefit to us. And the moon is going to help us see that. All right, next two cards. First is Eight of Wands. I love that. Super stable card. So we remain in a very stable atmosphere and environment. And we have incoming information. I love that the moon is here. 
because heightened awareness, heightened intuitive gifts, wherever your heightened awareness is, it is coming swiftly, moving swiftly on that eight of wands. It's more channeled energy that I feel within the reading as it is. And we are enlightened on this card. It is strong. It's a double four, like I said, super stable foundation. And this is a unity card. In ancient tarot, this was considered a marriage card. So it is the bringing together of energies. And once we can identify what is not necessarily serving us here on this four, also a stable number here in tarot, uh, we can easily let that go. And again, there may be some bittersweet on it. We may have to reminisce a little bit. We may have to revisit some nostalgic feelings and memories and really enjoy them, savor them, cherish them before we can set ourselves free over here on this four. That four is called the miser card. So you might want to ask yourself, what are you gripping? What are you hanging on to? And why? Coming with our eight of wands, we have <laughs> the sun. What is that, the fourth time this week we've seen it? Well, here it is again, and it comes at the end of the reading like a fantastic punctuation mark. We have the moon and the sun on the table. I love that. Divine feminine, divine masculine, beautiful harmony there. Within the cards themselves, lots of balance in that energy and then you have the sun fueling this eight of wands so when we speak on it of being swift moving energy uh, rapid fire communication take that into your intuitive realm because that's how you're going to be receiving it through whether you're you know clairvoyant clairaudient whatever your gift is it's going to be rapid fire in terms of intuitive communication there fueled by the sun's energy, which is the happiest card in tarot, as mentioned previously over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a pleasure it is to deliver this kind of message with these cards for you. Angel answers, if you have a question, you can certainly ask it here and see what Angel Answers has to say. Let them confirm something or be a fresh message. First card coming out, and I love this. <laughs> Don't stop. Why would you at this point, right? Why would you stop? Look at what's on the table. <laughs> Keep going. Don't quit. Do not throw in the towel. <laughs> because for those of you that don't have evidence of this just yet, there's something better. Most of you already are celebrating this on your foundation. You know it. So you went after it and you co-created it with the divine all that is. And here's evidence of it right there in the cards. Mm. So much so we've had the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups repeat this week. <laughs> I can hardly get over that. That's just amazing. <sighs> yeah. Then we have remain positive, and again, why wouldn't you? <laughs> because that's the fuel, that's the momentum. This is what has created this caliber of energy flowing on your foundation. And I love this, it's in repeat again, let go, coming out. That goes with our four, our four of pentacles. What, identify what that is, what you're holding on to, grasping, gripping, uh, feeling really comfortable with because it is familiar but does it serve you is the question and likely it doesn't so reminisce savor the memories and do your very best to let go I feel like we need one more <laughs> fantastic no no need to worry at all okay next card for us affirmation for the day <laughs> One of my favorite cards in this whole deck. I choose to learn through love. Indeed you do. This is why you are a spiritual master. This is why you are on this journey to begin with. Because you continue to choose love. You are the love. Bring it. Shine it. Share it. Last card. Spirit animal for the day. Let's see what we have. Ooh, panther spirit. Wow. Hey, now look at this one. <laughs> Reclaim your power. 
Mm, again, I'd say you've done it. Now use it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a beautiful Friday. Peace, love, joy, blessings, happiness to each and every one of you. Namaste. Bye for now.